When the image is first displayed, check your exposure index on the top right hand side of the screen. It gives you an idea of whether you are under or overexposed. The number you're looking for is between 2000 and 2500. Anything lower than 2000 would indicate that it is underexposed and over 2500 would indicate that it is overexposed. Once your x-ray is up on the screen, we can do a host of manipulations to it. Over on the right, we have simple tools or advanced tools. We'll start with simple tools. When you hover over something, it will tell you what it's going to do. So pan as you move the image around. Markers, if you click where you'd like to have your marker, then you can pick from the list or you can do free text. You can then move your marker around, or if you don't want it anymore, you can put it in the bin. If you select brightness and contrast and hold down the left mouse, you can move up and down or left and right. These will flip or rotate the image. This will free rotate on any angle. These are your zoom tools. ROI zoom lets you draw a region of interest and zoom just into that area. To undo this, you can do scale to fit and it will go back to normal. Free zoom is the most helpful I find. Left click your mouse and pull the mouse forward and backwards to free zoom. You can zoom the image by 100% or if you right click on this, you can choose to zoom by between 25 and 100%. To undo, scale to fit. If you right click on scale to fit, you can enter full screen. This is a really nice way to view your images. Down at the bottom right of the screen, you can exit full screen. Here we also have a magnifying glass. Left click with the mouse to magnify. You can right click this to choose a different magnification. These are your cropping tools. Pick either the trapezoid or the oval. You can then pull in to whatever shape you need. The middle button will reprocess this smaller area, therefore giving you a better image. To undo, we have the undo button here it will undo the last thing. We also have reset to go back to the original image. 